So last time we punched a lot of monsters in the face uh, to varying degrees of success. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue on doing that. All right. Such a big room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost like kind of like a coliseum area. Or I guess it's like... I don't know. Yeah, Is this... it's just a large city. And again, it goes with the Lovecraftian theme. Uh, he was always talking about Cyclopean cities. Just hmm. huge. With non-Euclidean geometry. And levers. Yeah. Apparently. Well, you know, you have to get out somehow. So I... <laughs> if you remember the green panels in the uh, room where we fought the first two little things, yeah, this now goes back out. So this is what we're going to be doing for the next little bit. You put in, you inscribe a rune, you teleport to an area that usually has a monster in it, you okay. punch the monster, you hit a lever, you unlock a door, mm. you repeat. Kind of a bit of gonna be a lot of back and forth, I presume. A little bit, but there you go. I don't know. It's it's still pretty enjoyable, honestly. Luckily, this game has a pretty fun combat system, even if sometimes I'm not so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> does it does it matter what symbol we put where? Yes. Oh, really? Well, sort of. Uh, with the Pargon runes, that's the only thing you can put there. Okay. Yes. But with the other runes, uh, I believe you can select other ones. Uh, but if you select the wrong ones, the puzzle just won't work. Okay. Yeah. And then would you have to, like, go back and, like, change the runes, or...? Most likely. It, it almost sounded like a, a nursery rhyme for a minute there. Yeah, it's what, uh, these abominations tell to their yeah. baby abominations. When they're skipping jump rope, it's what they're, they're yeah. saying. Yeah. Pargon, 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 Pargon. Pargon, They're... Pargon, dressed in yellow. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very creative. Oh. Yes, death to you. I, okay. There's also, you can't hear this so good on uh, the recording, but there's some trappers in the area, so. Oh, you can kind of hear the, the chittering. Yeah, so we're going to take out our pistol and deal with that. Okay. Actually, in this case, we're going to actually make use of it to get some healsies up oh, on the magic. Oh, you fool. But I meant to do it. You're still a fool. You're a jerk. I well, yeah. Hmm. Tell me uh, something. Astonishing revelation. Uh, <laughs> two years into the uh, let's play channel. It's a revelation for you. It's been. Yeah, everyone else was in the know. Yeah. I'm just. Uh, I'm a slow learner. A little, a little behind the times. Hmm. Alrighty. Get out of my way! God. <laughs> ah! Getting hit by those horror beams is not fun because what they do is for about two seconds they screw up your uh, navigation and reverse it. Oh no. So if you've noticed, I'm kind of you're, you're... moving around like a weird wolf. And it kind of like, it all, yeah, there's nothing really to, uh, to block it. Nope. So now, uh, thanks to that little sojourn, I now need some health healing. Health healing? Oh, good. You know. Uh... But first, let's get out of here. Oh, the body! Yeah, it Aww. remains here. I was not joking. Aww. <laughs> it's fine. He gets visitors every once in a while. I guess. Every so often. Yeah. Oh, is there going to be a point where we come back? No, wait. Actually, he probably should be a skeleton by now. But he's not, because he's in a magical realm where his body's preserved forever. Oh, that's kind of sad. Eh. Hmm. The better fate than a lot of us have. Can we take him with us? Probably not. It's like, it's like a one-person portal type thingy. Well, I'm just thinking it would be heavy. <laughs> you just, like, carry him on your shoulder out. Well, and then just I have... mean, Edward's definitely not big enough. Look, that man uh, is used to lifting books and glasses of wine, and that's it. <laughs> maybe his uh, granddaughter. Ma maybe. Maybe. She could just power lift him. Yeah. <laughs> well, Alex is pretty buff. I, I wish that we could use psychology on the monsters. <laughs> Tell me about your mother. No! <laughs> ah, no, I can't. I can't do that. I don't think the problem is my mother. I just feel like, no, it's your mother. It's always your mother. Ah! That's what Freud said. I love Freud. Do you know Freud? I know Freud because I'm a psychologist. I've read many Freud books. Many books. Many Freud. Mm -hmm. Very smart. Please go out with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I mean, that's uh, that's one thing I'm kind of wondering, because, I mean, presumably Edward gets a wife somewhere down the road, or at oh, least yeah. somebody who will bear... Bear uh, his, his children. Their children, yeah. Yeah. I mean... I, yeah. That'd be great, actually, if, like, he had a wife all this time. Like, we're just gonna go back, and his wife is just like, where the hell were you? Uh, would you believe uh, exploring a gen- ginormous city? No. Uh, oh. oh. Right, well, I was in the basement. <laughs> Oh, he's winded. Yeah. So, I mean, my question is, is he married right now, or does this come later? Uh, presumably later? And, I mean, what do you do when you enter into a relationship with somebody? Uh, do you tell them that the family is destined to fight space aliens? I... I don't know. It's Well, you probably don't, because maybe that's what Maximilian did. And then he got locked up in a crazy asylum. He did. Uh, question. If somebody asked you to marry them and then, uh, pointed out that, uh, they had a destiny to save the world, would that be a deal breaker for you? Um, honestly, it might be. Because the assumption that you could make is that, okay, does this mean that I'm going to be part of a tragic backstory? It probably does. Like, is, like, some monster going to come and, like, destroy me in the night? Especially if it's, like, a one of these types of monsters. Where it's like, it's not just gonna be like, a a dude, like, stabs me and I'm dead. It'll probably be like, a thousand years of torture, uh, while I'm like, a zombie, or something. Yeah. So I would probably just be like, I'm gonna have to peace out. I feel like that would put a strain on our relationship. Uh, yeah, I don't think I could deal with that. Oh god, you know, you're late. I cooked dinner, it's cold now. I was fighting zombies that- You use You are always fighting zombies, Edward. You can't- I just- I don't really believe it at this point. There's always zombies. I've never seen a zombie. I'm just always told- That I, there were zombies. I think that you're actually just lying to me, and you're just like going out to like some sort of club. My time. sword is fucking glowing, Marie. I, it's glowing. We've invented LEDs. Could just be a, like one of those like prop swords from the Star Wars. M- Marie, that's stupid. I I'm gonna divorce you because you don't know anything about Star Wars. Uh oh. Oh. But <laughs> <laughs> I just ah uh, poor Edward and Marie. I I really love just the stupid little lever. I like uh the fact that they have a museum or possibly a zoo. Uh yeah I guess. Uh, fun fact, you don't actually have to kill a lot of these. Some of them, uh, actually will be in adjoining rooms, so it's good to kill them so you don't have to deal with them. But, you know what? At this point, I was actually just kind of having fun being a murder machine. Okay, so... Yeah. So could you just possibly run out of the room? Yep. Oh. I won't lie, that's probably what I would have done. Yeah. Peaced out. I mean, it's probably better on the resources, but man, sometimes you just gotta chop off a zombie's head. S- sometimes you just get the bloodlust. Yeah. It's been a while since we've had one of these dudes, or at least it feels like it. Yeah, they're not, uh, they used to be top banana, but now they're second fiddle. Yeah, not really prominent in this chapter. New. No. Well, peace out, everybody. Okay, bye. I came, I murdered, I left. Which is, I mean, it's kind of funny, because, uh, from these guys point of view someone built a house on top of their city and then came down into the city and just ruined their day this murderous interloper yeah so it's see and is it is this meant to be like a populated city uh yeah sort of okay you'll learn sort of later what they're populated by Ish. And you can make your call. Because it, it does, it feels for the most part fairly empty. Yeah, and oh. I don't know which parts of the city we're going into. I'd assume there's other buildings and we're maybe in like the tax office or something. <laughs> it's, it's a Sunday and yeah. everybody's like home. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, send out the police. Oh, the police will take care of it. It's fine. No, the police don't come out on Sundays. What? No! Chichurgaville. Enga. Enga. <laughs> Enya. <laughs> Alright. Well, there's another one down. Only four more to go. Uh, four or five. Around oh my there. Good. Yup. It's alright.
I, I feel like this chapter is a little tedious. You're a little tedious. Well, yeah, but this chapter is a little tedious. It's more fun to play than it is to watch, I think. Is it, though? I think so. Because you're not really... Hey, did I have fun? Yes, I did. I don't... I think it... Oh, oh worm! Shit. Oh, never mind. It's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, and it's sepient. Oh. <laughs> What? Uh, just the, the visions caused by not having enough drink. I... Okay. Shh. What? What was the purpose of that? Uh, I don't know. I... Okay. Spooky? I, I guess. Foreshadowing? Who can say? Hmm. I... I... A part of me was almost like, oh, I wonder if that's, like, to show the player to use the flask, but... We've, we're already like 40 minutes plus into this chapter. You'd think that they would have used the flask already? Yeah, tough to say. Hmm. Well. Alright, here comes another one. Yes. So, this level, or this, uh, this little place, uh, there's a trapper here. So, keep that in mind, otherwise, you'll get a surprise. Oh, oh, yep. Aww. I wanted you to get a surprise so I could laugh at you. I always feel kind of bad about killing the trappers because they're not particularly malicious. You're almost like rats. Yeah. You know, where it's just like, yeah, they're kind of gross, but... Or they're like bees. They only uh, harm you when you startle them. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, trappers can't see anything. And they make delicious trapper honey. <laughs> That's what they have on toast in Enka. Aww. Yeah. How did the... I mean, the toast is slabs of human brain pan-fried, but still, Ooh. the concept is the same. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, the strategy for this guy remains unchanged. <laughs> so I'm just gonna follow him around <laughs> whenever he settles. Which you won't. That's kind of adorable. I, st I like the floaty glowy light. It's fine. Except when you're waiting for it to, yeah, you're, just, you're to just sit. Following. I'm like, I would like to hit the lever, Team get out of my way. Oh, I like how it waves its little arms while it's casting. Yeah, and now it's dead. Aww. It's fine. <laughs> it's with, uh. I Cthulhu Jesus? Yeah, that one. <laughs> that, that one. <laughs> I wish that they did something with these stupid levers. Like, they just... You have all, like, this, like, kind of fancy architecture, and then you just have, like, a old-timey lever. Well, you need something that creatures of all sizes and shapes could use. But, come on. Well, I mean, you saw the Guardian there. Like, it's, it's two torsos with a pair of legs, and its hands are on the ground all the time. But, like, but like there's stairs, and it's not like all of them could use stairs the same way. Well, they can, technically. The Guardian just floats up them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to meet the, the monster architect art who had to design this city, and who probably had to deal with all this shit. No. Yeah. Well, some of us float, so I don't think we need stairs. Well, not all of us float, Terry, okay? <laughs> I'm putting in stairs, goddammit. <laughs> uh, hello, I think that everything should only be about three feet high. No trapper. <laughs> There's, it's not just about you. God, I hate everyone in this stupid city. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a way to blow it up. I Yeah, I just, you know, and it'll just be there, just for peace of mind. <laughs> Just in case you all piss me off enough to use it! <laughs> Anytime some one of you little shitheads puts in that complaint button, er, in the complaint box, <laughs> I'm just gonna, that's just gonna be one more tick on the blow everything up clock. And if it gets to 12, kabam! Everybody's dead. Architect Emily has been uh, awfully cranky ever since, um, Councilman Trevor left her. <laughs> there you go. Like, There's a little story for you. I just, like, just think about their life together. I like the monster being named Emily. Yeah. That is a good story. Yeah, you know. I bet you all assumed the architect was male. Well, shame on you. <laughs> 
You can tell there's not a g- lot of gameplay to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we're, we we're grasping at straws, if you will. Mm. Mm, yeah, sure. I'm going to reload my gun now, as one does. Have we mentioned the glowy lights? Yeah, they kind of look like sperm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's yes. a pretty funny joke. Uh, yes, that filled about 10 seconds of time. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, good, the video is only half oh, over. Oh, I mean, if you think about it, his head is like an egg. I- that sperm float around. <laughs> Oh, pretty funny. <laughs> we even made that joke in an earlier video. Oh, we probably did. Oh, good. We're using content. Good. Even better. Hi, everybody. Oh, don't you bring Larpo into this. <laughs> oh, God. What a train wreck this is turning into. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's really good. All right, back to the room. Yes. It's okay. We're going to walk because Edward's not good at running for too long. He's, yeah, he's huffing and puffing a bit. Well, he's a psychiatrist, not a runner. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. This would be me if I had to fight. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Uh, just going to oh, shit, take a no. breather. I got I got to point out that like the symbols on this thing, I don't think they're the exact symbols, but they remind me a lot of the symbols that are on uh, the Digivice toys. Ah, that's funny. Turns out they are the same symbols, and uh, they're just Eternal Darkness branded. Oh, or Eternal Darkness really like Digimon. I, that'd be kind of great. Yeah. Somebody on the development crew just was like super into Digimon. Here's the design for the Black Guardian. Uh, that's Patamon. <laughs> no, it's not! <laughs> oh, that'd be so adorable. <laughs> Hurry up and blow everything up. I'm bored. Just end it all. Arr. Imagine if like a like our city had a self-destruct. <laughs> That'd be pretty great. <laughs> you have to like go. You have to put like a, a, a Tim Hortons donut on the top of like the highest buildings in in the city. <laughs> Sir, somebody started implementing the donuts. I just let it happen. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> Smack! Oh, hello. It's kind of and- funny just seeing those guys here when there's a guardian over there. Yeah, they're kind of. It's it's a little weird. Probably why like we don't we're not really seeing much of them is that like they're kind of underwhelming at this point. Yeah, they were a good introduction. Yeah, you, I mean you obviously you got to build up to like the weird conjoint twin man thing. Yeah, but now it's just kind of like seeing Brad Pitt's brother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of notable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, I mean, you're probably still gonna tell someone about it, but yeah, they're but not, you're gonna... not gonna post it on Facebook or anything. Well, you might, but like, your response would be just, "Oh, that's kind of neat." Yeah, whatever. Like, no one's gonna be terribly impressed. No, no, no. Why do you keep falling over? Uh, cause it's the elephant gun. Oh, it's the recoil. Yeah, which is nice that they did that. I just thought. You were maybe just like falling because you're on the stairs or something. Oh yeah, that would be funny. But no, it's happened every time. I can't believe you haven't noticed. I know. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh. Bam. Oh yeah, it is every time. Yep. I'm not observant. Nope. Maybe because I was just too distracted by the sparkly light. Yeah. Kinda we'll st- go with that. Steals your focus. Come on, come on, bro. Oh, we got our own little sparkly light. Yeah. Just the one left. Yeah, the oh. saddest Tinkerbell. All my friends are dead. <laughs> oh, no. I'm here too. Oh, God, I don't care. I, <laughs> I like how you're like, no, can't waste a bullet. Well, yeah, he's useless. I don't care. Smack. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> I always like when you just get them once and then just walk away. Yeah. And they're not even worth it. No. Not at this point. Ooh. Oh, no. God damn it. How, how is the targeting system for when there is multiple dudes? Not great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that I missed how to, like, do that. But I only found that I can, like, target different parts of the body, and switching to another target is a control that I forgot, or (laughs) it's just finicky. (laughs) Or you can't do it. I don't know. 
I like how these levers control, like this, again, this Stone Age looking lever controls this magical uh, portal thing. Yeah. Barrier. You know. As you do. As, yeah. You do. <laughs> <laughs> you stole what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired now. I, yeah. Oh, God. Ah. <sighs> I'm just like I'm just waiting for him to just like throw up yep. from the exertion. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should have picked someone more fit, Mantrock. Yeah, yeah, maybe Mantrock should be going for like cross country traders or something. Yeah. Yoga instructors. Well, a cross country trainer did not build a house on top of a city. I mean, I feel like Mantarok picked most of these people, but sometimes the people just kind of pick themselves. Well, again, it's it's that the kind of idea that we c we threw out in an earlier video, where it'd be kind of interesting if these were just the people that succeeded in doing something. Yeah, and you didn't see all the failures. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that like if I was chosen, I'd probably be a failure. I would just be like, no. No, I'm gonna stay in my bathrobe I, and watch cartoons. Yeah, you're just gonna need to. Pick somebody else. <laughs> Too bad. Yep. Oh, we've got only got two more to go. Thanks, baby We're Jesus. Almost there. Whee. Yep. Alright. Any surprises waiting for us here? No. Aw. Just kidding. Oh, I thought I saw something. <laughs> he blends in pretty good. He does. He's like a camouflage. <laughs> Trying to say chameleon, but I, I couldn't remember the word. <laughs> Hemophilian. <laughs> Aww. Good. Alright. Thank God. We're edging closer and closer. Bang. We are almost there. Oh, somebody's casting a spell. Is it me? I, I doubt it. Okay. I... Ooh, this is, seems like a terrible room to fight. It's not great. Ooh! That one almost got you. I didn't even see that one. Yeah, I noticed almost too late. But you can't put past things towards sentence breaking down. Your, this chapter is ruining you. I know. You're, my brain is like pudding. The both of us. Yeah. That's yeah. I don't know. I this this definitely isn't my favorite chapter. No, I mean there's elements of it that are pretty cool, but I I think we're spending far too much time here. If it was like a five point star thing that we had to do, just like cut out some of the. Or, or at least make it so that, like, I don't know, because you kind of just like, you put the rune in, you fight some dudes, put the rune in. You do it again. Yeah, and it's just not, it's not really enough variety. It kind of pays off later. Hmm, okay. Yeah. I, I'll hold you to that. I said kinda. You can't hold me to anything. <laughs> that was wiffly waffly on my part. I I will hold you to it regardless. Well, you can try. Our friendship will ride on this the outcome of this chapter. Oh, anything but that. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We're fine. Yeah, I, had, that did it. I had one more shield. Oh, thing. that's yep. right. So that's yeah, for some reason, I don't know what is blocking my shots. Hmm. I don't know if I've just hit a weird part of the terrain. Did he- well, did he just put up a barrier? Now he did, but okay. he didn't have it up before. But, but I don't know what it was. My shots weren't hitting him. So I just got as close <laughs> as I possibly could. Just, yeah, just ran up and- so there's a huge stone block in the middle. Yeah. You saw the prompt come up. I was too annoyed with trying to kill this guy. So there you have it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, I think it said that it was like some sort of art thing or that there's art on it. That's all I caught. Yeah. Good job. Awesome. Ah. Oh. Screw that. Aw. It's fine. By which I mean it's not fine and it's dead, but that's cool. That that's cool. Whatever. I I kind of wish that he had different colored blood. <laughs> like green. It well just something other than red, cause red seems too human. Yeah, maybe like bright blue. <laughs> well, that would be unnerving. I guess. I mean, yeah. All right. 
I'm so excited to see the end of this. First we gotta rest. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Now I have to walk all the way to the end of the room. What would Freud say about all of this? Mm. Dear Diary. I saw a giant cyclopean city today. It reminded me of my mom. New branch of psychology, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> I always make those jokes, but I don't know most of Freud's psychology, like most people. <laughs> Me. Oh, here we go. Yep. This is our last time. I'm trying to keep everybody on tinder hooks. On what? Am I thinking tender hooks? Tender hooks? Am I using a term you don't know? Did I, I make this up? Whatever. Let's just pretend I made it up and move on. Are you okay? <laughs> This, this, I think this chapter is making you insane. Is uh, it because we're in, like, the spooky city? Uh, I'm under the, uh, sanity effect problem. Oh. My house was built over a ancient city. Oh. Um. That was a poor call. Eh. You know, cheap. <laughs> well, I can't argue with that, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to wear earplugs at night to keep out the wailing. Yeah. Of the damned. Mm-hmm. More importantly, though, our nine-point circle's finally complete. Hooray! Yay! Now we need to escape. This is oh, all very tense. Oh, shit! So I'm just gonna shield up. All right. Yeah. So excited to see the city blow up. I know. So tired of seeing it. It's uh, less impressive once you've been there for 45 minutes. Yeah. I wish there were, like, I don't know, maybe this would be too human. Mm -hmm. I sort of wish that there were, like, lights in the windows. Or something. Yeah. Or maybe, like, libraries. Yeah, like, maybe you could go to a big library. Well, just, like, just, like, some sort of, like, sign of life Yeah, would be nice, aside from, like, the dudes that we have to fight. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know a ton about Lovecraft, though, so I'm not really sure, like... Um... Was it, like, were they cities in, like, actual cities? Like, were monsters, like, just living here? Uh, mostly. There were, um, the reason I actually mentioned libraries is because there is a story, and I forget if it's the great ones or the old ones. But either way, they have a big library. Hmm. And they basically teleport themselves into other people's bodies, and while you're in the city, uh, you can read their books. Okay. As, uh, kind of a trade-off. Oh, so they're in your body and you're in their body? Yeah. And, like... They're just... gathering information. And you just kind of hang out in this library? Yeah. And oh. I mean, there's other places in the city you can go, but... <laughs> you just kind of bum around? Yeah, you know. Huh. They look like barrels with tentacles. It's, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I need to make a spooky monster. Uh, tentacles. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Well, I mean, we gotta remember that this was also when a lot of that stuff hadn't really been explored, so it was a newer concept. Yeah. You had a barrier up that I didn't notice, that jerk. So we're gonna reload, and then we're gonna deal with that. But first. <laughs> I got tired. I just decided I'm gonna kill that zombie. It's Aww. fine. <laughs> just exploded his head. I did. Now I don't have any more bullets because I've wasted them on a zombie, so I have to use my other shotgun. Serves me right. Good job. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that city's still blowing up, eh? Yeah! Pretty well, tense. It's, I, yeah, we were kind of were just told to get the hell out, and now we're kind of just trying to... Dick around with a monster. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sort of, I, I was almost expecting to see a countdown, actually. Nope, not at this point. Hmm. Gotta make sure to finish you off. Yeah. So I get sanity back. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Please, sir, come back. Just land so that I oh. can kill you. Yeah, by this point, I was definitely feeling the length. Yeah. It. Yeah, again, just more variety would have been nice, I think. Or even if just the time in the city was just... Water? Yeah, or there was just more things to explore and see. But the problem is all the terrain's very similar, the rooms are pretty similar. Yeah, the things that you do in each of those rooms is really similar. Yeah, too much same. Yeah. 
like the big giant holes in the walls and the floors? Yeah, presumably people uh, were like, uh, he won't put the barrier down. I'm just gonna bust on through. <laughs> Uh, so at this point, we're pretty low on sanity, so we're just gonna give Edward a little drinky poo so he <laughs> stops screaming. Oh, that was Edward screaming? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just like we were hearing screams. Nope. Hmm. Your character will kind of talk and uh, hyperventilate a little if your sanity's too low. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh Normally you don't notice it because it's generally pretty quiet and there's lots of other stuff going on, but Edward's loud. <laughs> and this room's pretty quiet. <laughs> I I wonder if he like if you should be a certain bit away from the dude. Like maybe he doesn't want to land until I thought that too, but it doesn't really seem to matter. No. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, zombie. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, like I don't have time to play with you. But it turns out I do. <laughs> And you, you learned you don't want to waste a bullet on him. Yup. Fool me once. <laughs> oh You'll my god. still probably fool me the next time. <laughs> Take out your anger on him a bit. Yeah. Just oh die. Oh my god. I know. Holy shit. How many times have we shot him? Well, we don't have our giant elephant gun anymore. Oh, damn it. I know. I think this is something that you need to be careful of when you're making a game, is that you don't want your enemies to become so tedious to defeat. Mm hmm Like, there should be a challenge for sure, but, yeah, it should not get to... <laughs> well, it's dead. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah, you should never feel frustrated with a game, I think. Yeah. Or even if you feel frustrated, it's like in a good way. Yeah. You know, like, in Mario when you die a lot, but you still want to beat the level. Yeah. Yeah. You should be frustrated because of something you did, not something that the game did to you. Yeah. For the most part. I'd say so. Ooh. I just, the, the giant, I just noticed the giant spider sculpture wreath kind of thing over the doorway. Yeah. So, are spiders... Uh, little, uh, Cthulian horrors? Is that why that's there? I- Or did they just steal the design of spiders because they thought it was cool? Well, it's, it might- uh, yeah, like, I wonder if it's, like, there's a, a Lovecraftian thing based off of it. Meh. I think they just put it in. So, if anyone in the comments knows, prove Genghis wrong. Please do. It's my favorite thing. I love being proved wrong. Because <laughs> I learned something new. <laughs> So we're not gonna fight anymore. Hey! We're just gonna run. Yay! So the greatest gift we could have given. Yes. Well, peace out, everybody. Hope you enjoy death. Maybe. Uh, hmm. Should I feel bad? I don't. I. <laughs> <laughs> That's just. That's the big twist: is that it turns out <laughs> that uh, that we are just a huge asshole, and that these are just innocent monsters. Yeah. Oh, it turns out they weren't related to the situation at all. Oh, no. Oh, we got a nice little viewing patio yeah. here. Yeah! Oh, I can't wait for it to just to get destroyed. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Oh, I, I don't have insurance! Oh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, no! Look at all the... Oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that is pretty sweet. Seriously, where are my eyelashes? <laughs> <laughs> they all got burned off, maybe, in the explosion. So now, 48 years later, the consequences of our actions. Although I'd like to think that Pius sent this guy off 48 years ago, and he now just thought maybe he should check upstairs. He just, like, he kept, like, killing the wrong old men. <laughs> or he was just looking, like, everywhere. He was looking for, like, the same dude, and then Pius was like, No, idiot, he'll be old now. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, dear. God damn it, I hate all of you. Oh, that's a great chapter image. Good. Yes! <laughs> Dear Alex, this is the story of how I died. Great. The end. Uh, yeah. Alright. So we're done with Edward. Thank God. Yep. Uh. I hate you, Grandpa. Your chapter was boring. 
Sh- shut up, Alex. Be grateful for what you've been given. If you gave me a load of nothing, Grandpa. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. See you next week. All right.